Hello everyone, this is Frank Ilo from Afri Design Studios. In this very video or tutorial, we are going to learn how to create your Dutch gable roof. What is Dutch gable roof? Take a look at this very roof design. You will see this triangle form here. This triangle form here that always adds beauty to the building or to the design is what we call the Dutch. This is the Dutch. How do you create this? Okay. Now, to learn how to create that, we are going to go straight to the Revit environment. Our Revit file. So, I go here to Revit. Click on this point. Then, you are going to see this very design I've done in the past. This design is also having the Dutch roof system. So, but we are going to delete this, this very one because we have two of the two of them. We have one here we have one here we are going to delete this very one click on it and hit the delete button on your keyboard it will go so how do you start your creation now you have to go to your project browser go to your project browser and double click on the south elevation double click on the south elevation then click on architecture click on components click on model in place then come here click on ok click ok again go to extrusion and click click on extrusion then this dialog box is going to appear once this dialog box appears make sure you select pick a plane pick a plane then click ok then look for a suitable plane or wall where you can create it i would have done it on the roof itself but the roof is not straight the roof is slopy is slanted so i go to my wall select this wall by hovering around to see the blue boundary lines so when you hover around like this hover around like this okay until you see this blue boundary lines you then click once you click the next thing you are going to do is go to your draw tools and select pick lines click on pick lines when you have done that come to the dodge location and zoom in on it if you look around here you are going to discover we have two lines click on the one that is under come here again click on the one that is below then come here down here and click on this when you have done this go to your modifier tools and select trim click on trim click on this line and click on this line click on this line and click on this line once you have done this you are now going to determine the wideness of this outer outer part of the dodge because there are two parts to this dodge we have the inner parts and we have the outer parts let me explain let's go to this image again you can see the outer part has no design there is one that is on the surface this very one then we have the inner part that has the horizontal depressions the horizontal depressions so what it means is that to achieve this dodge gable you are going to create two separate extrusions two separate extrusions on the one that is on the surface there will be there will be no design is going to be plain but the one that is inside is going to have depressions having said that let's go back to the tutorial so this one we are creating now is the one that is going to be on the surface the outer part of it so how do you give it wideness you go to offset click on offset and come here inside this box type inside there and what would be the thickness we are going to give it now let's make it 50 okay 50 click on this click on this and click on this then the next thing you are going to do is to click on finish edit mode click on finish edit mode the next thing you are going to do again is to give it thickness what is going to be the thickness of this very outer part let's make the thickness to be 50 okay 50 is okay 
or let's make it 30 30 then you are going to assign a material or a color to this very dodge for me i usually use white color so i come under material here then i click on gypsum wall this word whatever word you find here click on it then you're going to see this little box with three dots click on it it is going to bring out the material browser for you then on this or this left hand side of it where you have different materials and colors select the material you you would want to use for me i am using gypsum wall board because it is white so i click on it then i click ok after clicking ok the next thing i'm going to do now is come here finish model click on finish model to end it has ended let's go to default 3d view to see how it looks okay you can see it is not in the right position but never mind we are going to correct that later so we're going to create the second part of it the inner part where we have the design that is at the middle here so what are you going to do now the, the next thing you have to do is to go to your project browser project browser and come to your south elevation double click on south go to architecture click on architecture come to components you will see this little arrow click on the little arrow click on model in place click ok click ok again then click on extrusion it is going to bring out this dialog select pick a plane and click ok the next thing you are going to do is to select the plane where you want to draw it i would want to draw it on this plane that we have created this very outer part of the dodge so hover around until you see the blue lines and click once you have clicked then come inside here click here and trace this inner triangle trace the inner triangle okay that is it once you are done with this you are going to give it its own thickness because you are going to be creating some kind of depression inside of it so it, it should have a depression that you should have a, a thickness that could accommodate those depressions or horizontal lines you would be creating so but before we do that we are going to come here finish edit mode and click on it then you come under your properties go to extrusion end and click inside this box and type in let's take for example 100 then come to material click here click on the little box and come here and select your material again i am also still using gypsum wall board then i click ok once i have clicked ok the next thing is to finish model finish model and that is it let's go to default 3d view you can see what we have created so this one is where the design is going to be but after creating the design we are going to move it backward this one here should be in front so let us now create the the horizontal lines that is going to be here how do we do that go back again to south elevation double click on south elevation then come to the center the the triangle in the center hover around and click on it once you have clicked on it go to edit in place click on edit in place then come here you will see create click on create again come here void form not extrusion this time around don't click extrusion this time go to void forms click on it and click on void extrusion click on void extrusion it's going to give you this dialog box select pick a plane again then click ok when you have done that select this very plane as your working plane hover around until the triangle the blue lines appears click on it then trace again the 
triangle in the middle trace it after tracing it it is now to time for you to create your horizontal lines but to do that you have to go to offset click on offset and inside this box click in there and type let me see 75 and begin to offset the horizontal line when you are done i think let's also do this when you are done go to your modify tools again and select split elements click on this then you come here do not split here but split on split the next one do not split here split the next one do not split here split the next one do not split here but the next one okay so come here again do not split this but the next one do not split this but the next one do not split this but the next do not split this but the next so when you are done go to modify and select trim click on trim and come here click at the middle here and click on this line click at the middle here click on this line click at the middle click on this line click on the middle click on this line click on the middle again click on this other line click on the middle and click on this line click on the middle again and on this other line then you come here click on this and click on this do the same thing here again click on this middle click on this line click on the middle click on the 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 line then click this and click this that is it for now so once you are done with this go here and click finish edit mode finish edit mode then come here to the extrusion end click inside this box and make it make it um that's the extrusion now make it 75 or let's make it 50 allow it to be 50 and click apply then come here finish model click on finish model you can see that the horizontal lines are already created now let us go to default 3d view you can see it has been created and we have two two extrusions there two extrusions what we are going to do next is to move these two extrusions back to where they should be on the roof how do we do that go to east elevation by going to your project browser double click on east then you can see the two of them so click hold down your control key your control button on your keyboard press it down then click on this one and click on the next one So this will help you so but before sorry before we do that press escape twice to uncheck this one like i said is going to be at the back of this other one so click on this and click on move go to move here on your modify click on move then make sure that the constraint is unchecked click on this to uncheck then this join check this check it then come here now click at this tip and move it backwards to this point yes this is the right way to go about it you can see it is still highlighted that is why it is in blue while it is still highlighted press down your control button on your keyboard and click on this one that is not highlighted so that two of them will be highlighted at the same time so you can see once you highlight it re remove your hand from the control button so you can see they are now highlighted at the same time now go to your move icon click on move and come to the this edge the top left corner of this very extrusion click on it and go to constraint again and uncheck it 
leave this one as it is it has to be checked then come here and slowly in the same line so that your hand does not shift and move it and move it if by mistake your hand shakes that horizontal dotted, dotted line will disappear make sure you move your hand back again until that dotted line that dotted horizontal line is at, is showing it means that you are in line so once once you get here you click this dialog is going to come out click ok once you have done that go to default 3d view you can see we have created our dodge gable roof let's go to 3d view to see how it looks so you can see it you can see it you are seeing some of this red portion because you are viewing it very close if it is far you won't know that you won't see that hole there so this is how to create your dutch gable roof i hope this video has been helpful to you if so please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and to also like our videos and recommend our videos to your friends thank you once again for watching and bye